Webmaster Tools is one of the most basic uh, tools, well, to be a webmaster, as the name implies. Uh, of course, you can only use it once you have a website. So we set up our website through uh, WordPress, for example. And now I'm already logged in to my uh, Google account and I'm going to go to Webmaster Tools. And what I'm going to show you now is how to attach Webmaster Tools to a specific website. And uh, of course, basic, basic uh, knowledge and control that you can gain from uh, Webmaster Tools. Okay, I'm going to retype my password. Webmaster Tool gives you a lot of control uh, over your uh, website uh, internet performance. So, of course, uh, everything needs to be uh, verified. And what I'm going to do now, and you're going to do it as well once you have a website, and I don't care if you have an SEO company, I want you to have control as well. So you can uh, double check and monitor your SEO company. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a site. Okay, so I'm going to write the uh, URL here, ydatutorial.com and add a site and of course i'm going to have to install or let's say insert more uh, correctly a confirmation code um, into the website uh, so what can we what can we do uh, we need to ch to change our uh, most our, our let's say the, the way that we want to uh, authenticate our site um, html file upload is one option uh, i always prefer the option of just using a using a code uh, which is a meta tag. Okay, so let's click HTML meta tag. Did you see what I just did here? I chose HTML tag, HTML meta tag, and I'm going to have to insert this into my website. Now I want to show you how it looks on uh, on WordPress. So check this out. Plugin SEO plugins. I downloaded SEO Ultimate. Um, for me, the most uh, friendly um, plugin you can do for you can use for SEO inside SEO Ultimate. I'm going to miscellaneous. And I'm going to look where where should I insert the Webmaster Tools uh, authentication code. You find it down here. You see Google Webmaster Tools over here. Meta name, Google Site Verification, content, and here the information that is missing. So let's go back to Webmaster Tools. And that's it. This is what I need. This long uh, automatically generated number. Not number, actually. Tons of letters here. I'm going to Control c copy it. Control v paste it. Save changes. What's happening right now is that this code is inserted into the HTML code of my website, uh, automatically done by this plugin. Settings updated, good news for me. Back to Webmaster Tools, let's verify. Right now the site should be verified. Uh, Webmaster Tool, and there we go, congratulations. You have successfully verified your ownership of ydatutorial.com. See, that's, that's not difficult. And right now I'm a Webmaster Tool of this website, you can see. This is all the statistics about this website. I have nothing, right? It's a completely demo website. It has absolutely no presence whatsoever. But I want to show you um, what we've done so far, uh, what the important things are in this uh, Webmaster Tools. Um, I, want to, I want you to look at uh, optimization in Webmaster Tools and especially sitemaps. We can see uh, if the sitemaps have been uh, added. Of course, uh, this uh, website is very, very new. And I want to show you live how I'm going to add a sitemap. You all remember, I think, from the other video, what's the address? Always keep the address the same, sitemap.xml. And I can test it beforehand, but I know that it's OK. So I'm just going to submit it. Site, sub, sitemap submitted. And right now, my sitemap has been sent for the first time uh, to Google. And you can see how many pages have been submitted. Nine pages have been submitted, uh, or nine content pages at least. And now we have to wait and see how many get indexed. And once we visit this website again, you can see exactly the date, today's day that I uh, sent or submitted uh, the sitemap. I, probably by tomorrow, I will have another bar here, a red bar, that will show you how many of these uh, pages Google indexed. Index, it means that the Google sends its crawlers to these pages and, and looks for, uh, for content and for changes, and that's good for us. The other thing that will become available one day for us in this uh, Webmaster Tools, once the website starts moving on, is to see the traffic, search queries, for instance, what people are writing when they're uh, accessing my, uh, my website. As you can see right now, this is a demo website, so there's absolutely no queries and no results, but imagine that you have traffic and uh, maybe even an, uh, a campaign, uh, pay, a PPC campaign, a pay-per-click, um, you will see a lot of action going on around here. So what we did in this video, very simple, we connected 
our website to Webmaster Tools. And right now, uh, every time that we go home, uh, to the home page of Webmaster Tools, our website will appear. You can see ydotutorial.com. And I can start um, analyzing my website. You see that it already brought in the picture, the, the print screen of the website. And is it going, is it progressing? What can we do differently? How, we, how can we improve the performance? Webmaster Tools is a great way um, to monitor and look, after, look at the performance of your SEO company or your own SEO. Uh, it doesn't matter how you go, but it's definitely a must uh, in your um, SEO presence and in a way that you handle or uh, even own a website.